Okay, pack one, pick one. I'm gonna try and take my time a little bit more with these. I tend to just plow through them to <laughs> my own, you know, uh, my own detriment. So let's take a little more time and actually draft properly for once. Um, I think I'm just gonna take Rat King in this first pack. I'm kind of interested in Cloudline Shaman, but I like the pings that Rat can provide, and uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to roll with him, uh, but I'd say Cloudline Shaman is probably a close second for me. So let's just roll with Rat King. It's not really pricing me into, the, into anything, but should be fine for now. Uh, I'm a real big fan of Learn to Bite. I like that card. Um, but maybe Snow Peak Eagle is also pretty good. Um, I think the the role is Bombs Removal. So this is Removal. Uh, I don't think either of these are Bombs. So let's take Learn to Bite. Um, Okay, so Searing Fist is great removal here. Usury Rider is a pretty okay 2-drop, being a 2-3. Um, I think I'll go ahead and take this 2-drop. Uh, this is a nice 2-for-1, or I can take the ping. Uh, it looks like Shadow is very open, so I'm going to just continue to run the shadow route um, combat tricks are nice and I like inscribe I'm just not sure how often stunning and giving Aegis to myself is important let's take bog fumes um, trick throw is a pretty handy card it's a great answer to that one drop shadow guy or fire guy. Uh, I actually like frost pack sprite, so I'll go ahead and take that in a pinch. It can be great. Um, Last light refugee is just a good card. Uh, we'll take this. Um, Beyond fear is just insane. And, uh, I don't think I want a second Bog Fumes, so I'll just take Mythal Guardian just to keep Justice somewhat open. And... Midnight Hunter is okay. I don't have a lot in fodder. I guess I do have Rat King. I think I'll take... Huh. I guess I'll take the Hunter. Thudrock's Ruse is cool. So that's a removal spell. Mist Helm. Here's an interesting card. I feel like this is either insane or trash. Uh, I think this is the kind of card we want in our deck, though. Um... Certainly can be instrumental in getting a win. Uh, I'm a big fan of Dire Fang Spider. Uh, Skycrag Wyvark kind of fits the, uh, the removal bill. Uh, Rolling Fog is a good card. Storm Tamer operative, huh? So it's between Lethri Ranger and Storm Tamer Operative. Uh, so far, I'm not playing... I guess I have this spell. But... This body is pretty hard to turn our noses up at. Uh, I think I like Send a Message here.
Not a huge fan of any of these. Uh, not a lot of discard flying around. Um, this is okay. I guess I probably take Cyber Hyena there. Like maybe it just chomp blocks and draws me a card. Um, I could take a Rag Toad on, or I could like keep trying to keep Justice open by taking RN Brute. I think I'll take the guy. Uh, let's see here. Prism Stone's interesting. If I choose to splash, I'll be happy to have Prism Stone. These are pretty medium. I guess I'll take Malaise. I might end up with like a bunch of mill cards and maybe that's fine. Take Combatant, roll the skies. Okay, it goes bombs, then removal. We'll stick with it. Our captain is a bomb. And also kind of a house. Uh, I think I'd rather just have a second rolling fog over Call the Deck or Call the Deck. In Tomb, your units get plus one. Uh, I think I want the removal here. Roll the Skies is pretty solid. Uh, deep Cover Operative's okay. Go Prowler does some damage. Some pretty good stuff in here. Um, Harpoon's just a good card. Let's take the Harpoon. Here's a hard one. These are all some premium cards. Let's take the Rabid Yeti. Steal all weapons from an enemy unit. That's going to be dead most of the time. Do I take the mod ready drone in case I splash? None of these are in my faction at all. I like Shaman here. Oh boy, okay. I have been keeping the Justice Splash, like, at least kind of in the back of my mind. But Sweet Dreams is also a fantastic, like, value card. Uh, I also have, like, zero Inscribe in my faction. 
I think I take the Sweet Dreams here. Uh, nothing Remains is great. But... I'm not sure I have... the gas to pull off. Or like, I'm not sure I have the justice to pull it off. But I suppose when I do pull it off, is that not just fantastic? Whereas this is like, gonna be medium. Like when I want this, it's gonna win the game and when... It's not... I would like to stick with two factions though. I've got a lot of like, so let's just take the Sweet Dreams. Um, I could use more Inscribe, but the question is if I want Scale Hide or Nullify. Guess we'll rock Nullify. Oh, Brigade Hall is so good. Soul Feast is decent as well. But like, Brigade Hall is just insane. I can splash for this. Do I have enough cards to really be trying to splash this though? No, let's just take Soul Feast. Uh, I need more Inscribe. Runebiter, Sprite, or Intellectual? Intellectual's not bad. I think I like Runebinder more. This card's great. Deal one to an exhausted enemy unit, or Soul Feast. Uh, I think I need more dudes. So let's take the Screecher. I like Runebinder. Uh, I need more Inscribe. Take this guy. Oh wow, getting a late bomb there. A non premium assembly line. What's the point then? Certainly don't lack for playables. So Beyond Fear can give that a battle skill. And that's it. Do I play a 2-1 just to play, like, have a curve? Oh, this gives it unblockable. I don't think I need a Rock Toad on in this deck. This card's pretty low. Got a crap load of combat tricks here.
I think I'd rather just have a power than a prism stone. Pretty low on Cyber Hyena. Got some crappy units I could sacrifice to Midnight Haunter, like, you know, Rat King tokens. But I'm not sure it's what I want. Let's trim that. Should probably get rid of some spells here. I've got a big stack of them. Do I have any heroes? I've got the Rat King. I guess this is still good though, being a two for one. Trying to take my time a little bit more than usual rather than just like snap making cuts and just sending it like I usually do. Uh, Frost Pack Sprite is kind of medium. Uh, I need two more cuts. much inscribed do I have? One, two, three. I've got three inscribed cards, which will help me get there, but I still think I'm a 16 power deck. Because I don't have that, like, insane amount of inscribe. I do have a few. Um, Roll the Skies can be clunky, it can also be insane. Kind of does the same thing Bog Fumes does, though. And then one more cut. This puts a lot of butt on the board, which can be helpful if I'm trying to win with Flyers. Uh... Seventeen units, twelve spells. Spell count's still a little high. But I'm pretty happy with most of these spells. Maybe Trick throws the card. Okay, I'm happy enough with this. Get my lights turned on here. Uh, on the play, I can keep this. Got those lights on. See no reason not to just ram this. What are you doing in life? Oh. 
a shout out for Wolfbane there. I go shields down for a turn for this, but I don't mind. I guess the worst thing they could do here is the 5 drop and scribe relic, give flying, like... But... I'll have to be cold to it eventually, so it might as well be now. Uh, I guess I just fire off the send a message here. Okay, yeah, big hype for the, the raid. A good match. Thank you so much, Wolfbane. Well, good old play Mist Helm attack, what, six or seven times win the game? What's my opponent doing? I can get it. Huh. 
tapped out now. But also at 27. I've got two evasive guys. This guy's basically a lethal attacker. For Zultan. Well, sometimes we just get there. I'm like, all right, trying to like figure out a way to get my mist helm to do stuff, and then I just top deck the unblockable guy, and I'm like, well, this is just better than anything else I could be doing, so let's do this. Uh, his hand's a bit slow, let's redraw. I have a removal spell in case they have like a really fast fire start. And then some three drops to gum up the board. Looking like Horu so far. I've been waiting for this. I think I will just tempo thun th lightning strike this. Yeah. It's a pretty good chance that this is a three three. Do I risk it? It could be like that stupid botanist or something. So I guess I just try and trade with it. Okay, well. It was not. Oh, there's a name I haven't heard before. Thank you for the raid. Last seen playing Eternal Card Game. Cool. Were you playing in the draft open, hopefully? Two back-to-back -back raids, though. Missing power drops, but it's not too big of a deal.
Ooh, that's a good card. Uh, I think I like killing the flyer here. Nothing gets past me. Opponent's starting to run out of cards. I think I can risk losing my deadly guy here. I have more removal in my deck. So yeah, now I'm pretty happy about this. Cold got you down. Not sure this is a race I win if I just start trying to race here, so I'm actually going to end the turn. And I'll just chill. Yeah, I like just doing this. I can get it. Um, we'll do this guy. So now I think I can win the race. Just had to make sure my opponent didn't play any spicy things before I started trying to race. I'll find my way. I could play this and then turn it into a dinosaur. <laughs> I like pre-combating this. Um, I had to make sure it was not the flyer guy. Not that I want to, but basically just lose a bunch of times now. Well, I guess not. How many wins do I probably need? I probably need like 20 wins. So I need one more win from this set. But obviously I won't complain if I just win out.
Uh, I don't want to start off a hand flooded. Like, flooded, but also screwed. Um, I guess we're going to six. Playing against Gage. Man. These are just one of those games. I guess that first hand was the keeper, because... I guess this one does have some gas in it, so we'll see. But this game's gonna be a real quick L, probably. I'm not gonna give up, but. Okay. We're in business. Definitely take this trade if they offer it. I swear, if he plays the primal, I'm gonna be real sad. Oof. It's too thick for me. Brief incursion. Should buy me time and let me get some chip damage. Oh my god. Look at what is written. That's just unfair. So sad.
Okay, well, we weren't bound to just win them all and... So, might as well lose the gauge. <sighs> Chat. This is cruel and unusual punishment. This is why you draft more inscribe. This is exactly why. Because if you don't, you'll be like me uh, and throw away perfectly good games to just BS. Oh my. My opponent had one one plan and one plan only. Brief incursion. So thankful they didn't have like a pump spell there. Okay. This could be. a couple different things. So this is a great, great, great play. Uh, I think I like outmatch. I like just jamming this here. Come on and jam and welcome to the slam. Man, this game started off so roughly. Okay. So do I just go till... Oh, okay, I understand. You play seven games with each deck. 
So yeah, you want as many wins as possible. So we get one more game. This deck's pretty solid. I hope we can eke out another win with this. Uh... I'll sandbag playing the Snow Peak Eagle for one turn because it's actually one of my better threats. I'm not gonna mill just for the sake of it. Guess if they make me discard more cards, I can use send a message for that. There's a Zito coming back around. Let's hope this isn't like overwhelm. Huh. So Zeta is like two cards in. Ugh. Now here's a question. I guess I sack this guy. I have other units. They already attacked this turn. Do I want the last card in their hand? I guess I do. This 
snow conceals us. Operative's nice. Your coin or your life? Did I just miss lethal? Whatever, this is the safer line. Alright, we're leading off with a 6-1. Okay. I'm gonna take a quick break here to make a smoothie. And I'll be right back. <laughs> 